benefits of ultrasound are that it is readily available in most um, emergency departments and there's no radiation involved and patients generally tolerate it in very well. So looking um, to identify the location of the IUD, we use both transabdominal and endovaginal ultrasound, and in um, scenarios where we have the availability of 3D ultrasound, that can also prove very helpful to characterize the location of the IUD, and in particular to characterize um, those situations where the IUD is inappropriately positioned. I think the most important thing to bear in mind for gynecologic ultrasound is the limitations of Doppler evaluation of ovarian blood flow. And so in cases where there is ovarian torsion, the grayscale appearance may be very suspicious and may fit with the clinical exam findings of ovarian torsion. It is very common for radiologists, gynecologists, and other surgeons to have difficulty accepting the diagnosis of ovarian torsion in those cases where there um, is venous or arterial flow documented on color Doppler imaging. And I think that is one of the pitfalls uh, that we need to bear in mind, that it is certainly possible to have some preserved vascular flow in cases where there is still ovarian torsion.